what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, warned Russia on Wednesday that it should get ready for a missile strike on Syria, vowing to thwart any missile defenses. Check out what this orangutan said on Twitter. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partnering with a gas-killing animal who kills his own people and enjoys it. Now, remember earlier this month, before the alleged chemical attack, on civilians at the hands of the Assad regime, Trump said he wanted to take U.S. troops out of Syria. Also, his comments on Wednesday are notable because Trump had this thing before he was president of criticizing his predecessors for telegraphing U.S. military action. Now, he's doing the exact same thing, but if you look at his record, that is what he does. Everything that he accuses somebody else of doing, he does. Every time he makes a mistake, he points the finger at somebody else. This dude is the ultimate excuse shirt wearer. So he comes for a world leader publicly on a social media platform. Then the same morning, not days, not weeks, not months, the same morning, he comes right back with a follow-up tweet softening his rhetoric by saying there's no reason for U.S.'s worsening relationship with Russia. All nations need to come together. Then he says, Stop the arms race? What kind of playground bully shit is this fool on? Man, this dude got millions upon millions of people's lives at stake here. And he's playing games like a fourth grader. He sounds like he's playing Call of Duty or something. This dude is a damn maniac. He needs to be institutionalized. He should be in a mental institution. If you want to keep him as president, man, keep his ass as president, but put him in a mental institution and don't let him make any decisions. I don't know if that's possible, <laughs> but damn, this dude is going to get people killed. And I also got to put this out there because you wonder how this is going to play out. Has he and Putin already gotten rid of their bromance? Because you know he's been Putin's puppet. And I know that Putin got that information on him about the election. They were definitely in cahoots. They definitely colluded with Russia to fix the election. And if nothing else, Putin has that. And I think that Donald Trump is so stupid that even though he knows Putin has this information on him, sometimes out of his arrogance, he just says crazy things. And then somebody says, hey, remember? Now, uh, Putin uh, has that information about the election. Oh, that's right. Hey, why can't we all get along? All the nations need to come together. You know, stop the arms race. Maybe the dude know that he don't have a leg to stand on. He knows he knows nothing about what he's doing. The dude didn't even know that Syria existed two years ago. He didn't even know. He didn't know what Syria was. Y'all elected this. Y'all elected this dude to be the president. He didn't even know. 
what Syria was. He didn't know where it was, but he was still yapping about it. He was talking all kind of trash like he was informed. You would think before a president opens his mouth and start talking about military action or public policy, foreign policy, you would think he knows what he's talking about. At least he'll be briefed so that he, don't, he don't sound like a fool, right? But not Donald Trump. You know why? Because he knows everything. Somebody need to figure out why Putin's puppet gave Putin and Assad a heads up, a warning to get out of the way before the missiles come. It's all smoke screens, y'all. Tell me who, who conducts foreign policy on social media? Oh, we know the answer to that. The orange orangutan, Donald Trump. His mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?